Hey guys, Ken here, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my other favorite subgenres of vaporwave, future funk, and explaining what is future funk and why a lot of people like it. So let's just jump into it. Modern future funk is a heavily sampled music genre derived from vaporwave. Genres that influence this subgenre is 70s, 80s, and 90s disco, funk, R&B, and new disco while being chopped up, screwed, and edited while adding new sounds to make new music. Older future funk tends to have nostalgic sounds, distortions, and slowed down samples. As future funk evolved over the years, we now see the additions of anime and Japanese funk, upbeat sounds and tones along with hip hop and jazz. Future Funk takes a more energetic route versus the melodic chill ambient style of Vaporwave. Future Funk is a lot more energetic than Vaporwave and has elements of French house, synth funk, and city pop incorporated into the genre. Future Funk tends to be a less ambient and uses reverb effects in its music. When we talk about the music, we tend to see that Future Funk uses a lot of city pop and anime soundtracks for its main source of samples. Producers tend to strip disco and take catchy parts that they later loop into the track. After a while, Future Funk started to be very consistent and had a linear way of it being produced and some people were fed up with older Future Funk tracks because it was the same thing over and over and because of this, this led to the genre being redefined and revolutionized. When we talk about producers, the most iconic producers in Future Funk would have to be Macross, 8299, Desire, Young Bay, Eve Dot, EXI, Eridus, Adrian Wave, and Mo Shop. These, I'd say, would have to be the pioneers of the genre. There's this yearning and endearing quality to Future Funk versus its counterpart, Vaporwave, which is a lot darker and dystopian. Compared to Vaporwave, there's distinct culture differences in both genres. Vaporwave is a lot more abstract, chill, you see a lot darker tones underneath the subtle colors, 
and it's more dystopian and it gives you the sense of adventure and loneliness where future funk is a lot more bright fill to the brim with colors and make you miss a place that's familiar yet so distant to you it makes you nostalgic of better times of a world you've seen yet haven't been in i don't know what it is about future funk that i like it's like the music is alien yet familiar to me. It's a product of the present and the sounds of the past. When we talk about clothes and styles of future funk, we tend to see stuff that are vintage, and also a mix of anime and vaporwave. You see a lot of anime girls or anime characters mixed with a bit of glitch art and vaporwave. Another popular thing you see with future funk clothes is album art on the front or back of tees or sweaters. I really enjoy getting the album cover tees because it's aesthetically pleasing and awesome. Honestly, I wouldn't mind buying a $60 jacket from across 8299's album A Million Miles Away or even Young Bay's album Bay on the front or the back of jacket or tees. That shit is fire as hell. Future Funk Art is a mix of vaporwave, retro 3D art, anime art and gifts, and photographs of cityscapes and other aesthetically cool places. Most of the time, the art includes bright colors and bright lights of the nighttime seascapes along with old vintage commercials and gifts. You also see 3D render art like Vaporwave, but with brighter colors such as bright pinks, bright oranges, and it's also less dystopian. There's also a lot more landscape art that's either painted, drawn in anime form, or photographed. You also tend to see a fondness of landscapes like inside of hotel rooms or layouts of rooms that gives you an appearance of it being vintage and giving a sense of nostalgia. Although, as of 2020, a majority of the time, everything is anime related to some extent. And that's pretty much it. That's what Future Funk is. If you like this video, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. And if you have any ideas on what kind of content I should do next, let me know down in the comments. And also let me know what you think of this video. This is Kian, signing out.